what's up guys welcome back to reality tv chats if you're new here welcome to the channel don't forget to like subscribe comment and share so let's get right into the video guys mother of 17 year old kayla and dowdy who was once last november battered within an inch of her life and has been hospitalized since says our daughter will not be able to give the police a statement as she has lost her memory Kaylan has no recollection of what happened or anything. Venetia Buckley told the Gleaner that on Thursday the police had indicated in June when the wounding case was mentioned in Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court that they wanted to collect a statement from the teenager. Her condition was being closely monitored as she still believed to be on life support. Consequently, the matter was rescheduled for mention on Thursday for the court to be updated on the situation. However, when the case was called up, the police notified the court that there had been no improvement in the teenager's condition. Hence, a new mention date was scheduled on bail for the five accused extended. The accused was 22-year-old waitress Timon Williams, 33-year-old Nadine Aldridge, who is unemployed, 28-year-old call center representative Skakina McLeod, and 26-year-old sales rep Christian Lewis, and 45-year-old laborer Yolanda Vassal, who are all charged with wounding with intent and unlawful wounding, were ordered to return to court in September. But Dowdy's mother, when contacted on Thursday, she was surprised to hear that her case had been mentioned on Thursday. Buckley said she had tried ascertaining the dates for the hearing, but the police had not been helpful as they informed her that there was no need for her to attend. The mother was even more surprised to hear that the police indicated a desire to collect a statement from her daughter. Buckley said her daughter is still unable to communicate verbally and can only make gestures. She has had nine cardiac arrests since the incident. There is still no certainty of anything the mother had. It. The past student of Papine High School was reportedly attacked and battered by a group of women on November 7, 2020, at an illegal party in Barbican, St. Andrew. She was allegedly beaten, kicked, and stabbed in the neck. Dowdy who was unconscious and had to be fitted with a pacemaker was reported was reportedly attacked after being accused of staring at one of the women at the party aldridge is represented by attorney at law samoy campbell while shamar hansen is the lawyer for mcleod attorney at law peter champagne qc and richard lynch represents Vassal and U.S. and Lewis, respectively. This is really sad, guys, and um, they have to get justice for this because I guess they have proof of saying that um, of the females that had injured um, Kaylan. So I don't see in which way they should try to get statement from her, knowing how badly she has get she has got beaten by those um adults um you know those females she really need justice for this guy so just try to keep the, keep keep her family in their prayers keep her in their prayers and i hope she get past this situation and i hope she get justice for this because this is not fair if they really you know would like to get a statement from her knowing her condition and know what actually took place